In today's tutorial, we are going green. and today we are going green. I haven't had green hair in like four, three and a half years-ish, so I'm really excited to go back. This is Kyler's favorite color on me for some reason. He always wants me to go green and I was like, yeah, I haven't gotten to cycle around back to it, but today is the day and here is a sneak peek of what the end result looks like. Hi! I'm also pretty green in the environmental sense. I try to recycle and not waste paper, pick up trash on the beach every now and then, not use straws, don't eat meat, all of that. But anyways, we are going to do a different kind of green look than I did before. Last time was kind of like a mossy, dull green that was even everywhere. And today I am doing kind of an ombre green, so a little bit darker at the roots and then a little bit more just plain green at the ends. So then it can kind of like blend in with my hair a little bit better and like disguise the roots when it grows out and just have a little bit more dimension and like no matter what brand comes out for semi-permanent hair dye I know about it I'm gonna hear about it I'm gonna get ads on Instagram for it I'm gonna discover it on my own someone's gonna tell me about it so I was bound to try it anyways I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand but it's called Good Dye Young and this was a brand started by Haley Williams and yes I mean the Haley Williams of Paramore that's another reason why I really wanted to try it and today is the day I have done tiny little swatches before. I haven't technically tried it, but when I was trying to figure out what color I wanted to go today, I tried a few of the colors on like the very, very ends of my hair that I was like cutting off anyways. But that's just so I know that I'm not going to mess up the color that I'm doing today. So I tested out my hair. Always do a strand test before dedicating your whole head to a color. But that's always important to do because if you're going to dye your whole head a color, you should always do a strand test to make sure that it's the color that you want. Trust me, that would have saved so many people's hair. But then Brad Mondo wouldn't have as many videos to react to. But if you want your hair coming out looking good, then definitely do a strand test. Also, Good Dye Young, thank you so much for sending me your product line and sponsoring this video. After trying out some of my strand tests, I know this one's gonna look really good, so I'm excited to see how it's turning out. You guys already know because you saw the thumbnail, but I haven't seen it yet. I haven't even made it. I always like to start with the lighter color first when I'm doing something that's blending. So if you overdo a little bit of the light part, then you can kind of use that to blend in the dark one. But if you use the dark color first and then blend too far down, you can't lighten it after the fact. So what I'm doing is I'm using just the green. This is called Cowabunga and it's a beautiful vibrant green like it's just it's pretty much like that color on the box so they weren't playing around with pigment here also all of my early looks were like really vibrant colors and i've definitely gone through like a vibrant phase a pastel phase i think i'm going back to the vibrant phase now maybe it's because the weather in la is making me just vibrant and happy i don't know i kind of do the same thing with my eyeshadow too like i'll do the light color like way farther out so then I can use that to like blend in a little bit of the outer corner so yeah we're starting with green and because this is a pure green I don't need to mix it with anything I'm going to apply it straight from my fingers that's what that looks like it's so rich it looks like an emerald green kind of me definitely giving me jewel tone vibes I can't believe I already squeezed it out into my hand before taking out my scrunchie what the heck Come on, Camille. Come on, Camille. So yeah, I'm starting on completely dry hair. It's pre-lightened. Underneath this, I've lifted it all the way up to like pretty much bleach blonde white. And then this is just a little pastel color on top. So it's going to be really easy for this color to show up on top of this one because it's very much faded out. These are just like remnants and my hair is light enough underneath. If you haven't pre-lightened your hair, you might want to do that. And because this is a jewel tone, like really pigmented kind of bright color, you don't have to get it all the way to white. I just like to keep mine consistent because I do pastels, I do bright stuff, I go in between. So I just want it all even and pretty much white underneath. And if you want to learn how to get your hair lightened like that without losing your curl pattern and texture, I have one that's really detailed and extensive if you want to do like really the exact best thing that you can do 
and I have one for beginners for people who are starting out, so I'll link those in the description box down below, but you definitely want to start by bleaching your hair. It doesn't have to be completely white if you're doing this color. It will just be brighter the whiter it is, but anyways, I'm not sectioning my hair. I'm just going to start in with my fingers because I'm doing the ends, so I don't need to do like sections specifically. Um, yeah, so let's do this. Wow. That is so, this is exactly what I was saying, like it shows up really bright because my hair underneath is super light. Wow. I haven't been green in so long, it's like, it's weird. Oh my gosh. And I haven't done a really bright color recently either. When was the last time I did a bright, oh, <laughs> I think the last time I did a bright color was like the half pink, half orange. That was a little while ago. This is what it looks like so far up close. Beautiful. I feel like money in this color. <laughs> Squeezing more out. One thing I love about dyeing colors on my hair is that unlike bleach, it doesn't fry your hair, doesn't damage your hair or anything. This one is a creamy texture that's kind of like a hair mask, and it also has essential oils and vitamins A, C, and E, and sunflower oil. So not only is it good for putting color, but it's also like nice to condition after drying your hair out bleaching it. I also like that because I tend to leave dye in my hair longer than the instructions say so it can absorb really well and like have a really nice even application so it will just kind of be like leaving a hair mask in. To get it to do that ombre type thing I'm going and pulling my hair like straight out of my head so I can just reach the ends um, instead of having it down like this and doing that because you're going to get higher up on that section But if you pull outwards, then you're getting only the ends of all the strands I think it's really cool that Haley Williams started her own hair dye line because Her hair over the past years has always been on point I'm trying to be so careful with this dye because I don't care if it gets all over me or my shirt or whatever but if it gets on the bathroom, then it's going to be pretty hard to clean up because I have this like white counter and I'm renting a new apartment and I don't want to destroy their stuff. And I got some dye on it last time and it was really annoying to clean up, so I'm really not trying to do that again. <laughs> when I dyed my hair in Maine at, at Kyler's parents' house, I got dye in their shower on the shower walls and I scrubbed at that, but that was still like makes me nervous getting dye on other people's stuff, but I got it out. It can come out. It just takes a long time. Also, I'm really surprised that my hair dye shirt has lasted so long, and it's still like, I mean, good condition. Like, it still hangs on my body. You can see it's kind of bleached through at the collar back there, but considering I bleach my hair and that's where it sits, I would expect that. And other than that, everything held together pretty well. We'll see how much longer this shirt lasts. But I think what I want to do next is make my own hair dye shirt. I think it would be a really cool way to make my first merch. And it would be really me. Like that is a very specifically me thing to do. And I have a bunch of ideas about what I want the shirt to be like and some special features, but it's gonna take time to develop. I don't know, I'm still like just thinking about the idea, but comment down below if you think that would be a good idea or if you'd be interested in that. I love this little curl right here. She's so cute. I've been wearing her down like over my ear when I have my hair up and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> I have one on this side too. This cute little baby. That looks pretty even to me. I'm just gonna blend a little bit upwards. And then of course doing the back is like the hardest part. But I always do it by touch and just feeling everything. You guys have probably seen that. I always do the back of my head because I don't know, like, I don't know if I trust Kyler to do it for me. <laughs> I should sit him down and make him watch all my videos so he can learn. <laughs> just kidding, he's seen them all. He has his post notifications on and he's always one of the first to comment. So I do appreciate that. And if you guys don't have your post notifications on, you should go ahead and fix that and see if you can beat him for the first comment. 
It's actually kind of funny. It's always one of three people that are the first comment. I'm making sure that everything down here is very saturated, and then when I get to the top, I'm just doing a quick little blend so it can fade into the next color easily. But make sure that this is just very saturated so it will come out looking bright and even. And now I'm just squeezing the end pieces together to make sure everything is very wet and every single strand of hair is covered. Okay, I think that is everything. Next is the exciting part. We're going to be adding black to the green to make our own custom shade of dark green so that it can do a cute little ombre type thing. So this is called None More Black. It's black. So originally, Good Die Young launched with six vibrant colors, and then they added on stuff lately. So this is a black in the semi-permanent line. They have temporary hair makeup that washes out, so if you have commitment issues and you can't pick one color, you can do that color for a day. And then they also have hair care products, but what this one is for is to change the color of one of their brighter colors or whatever color that you're working with if you want it to be a little bit darker. So a little goes a long way for this guy, and I'm just going to be mixing this in with the same green. I'm gonna squeeze the rest of this into the mixing bowl. I'm just gonna put the tiniest amount because once you go black, you can never go back and you can't make this any lighter. You can only go darker from there. And I've definitely been in situations where I darken something too much and you just can't, you can't go backwards. You can add a little bit at a time until it's perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I scared myself. I'm like too nervous to pick an amount. Okay, I'm gonna do this much. Just that. Now I got my handy dandy hairbrush and it's time to mix these together. Okay, so this is a beautiful deep green, and I think I'm gonna go a little bit darker than this. So I'm gonna put in the same amount, just this little bit right here, mixing that in. Oh my goodness, this green is so beautiful. I don't know if I should stop here because it won't give as much of a dramatic ombre, but this is just such a beautiful shade of green. Oh my goodness. This is emerald. This is a jewel tone. I'm going to test it on the white part of my glove to see how it compares to the lighter green. And it looks like I could go darker. I could go darker. So this is like one and a half times the daily dose. Okay, I can go darker. I totally psyched myself out trying to be so conservative with the black. <laughs> okay, I'm doubling the last amount love test. I'm gonna do that same amount one more time. That's how I'm measuring because I want you guys to know exactly how much I put in to get the color and I can't like weigh it or something. This is looking pretty perfect to me. Love test? No, 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 no. I got the black on the floor. No, 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 no! No! <laughs> putting in a little bit more. Okay, that's like a lot of bit more. That much. And now we end up with this shade. This is exactly perfect, and I'm gonna stop adding black now. Good Die Young also has a bundle deal right now, so if you buy None More Black with any other color, you get 25% off your purchase, and that goes on through November, if you guys are interested. I'm going to test this back here before I put it everywhere and see what that blends out to look like. That looks good to me, so I am gonna start painting this on the roots. So you can kind of see right here that it's dark and then fades into a lighter, brighter green. And it looks very seamless because of the amount of black. That's why I was going so slowly with the black because I didn't want it to be like way too different of a color because then it wouldn't blend well. So just do that slowly. Make sure that you got the right color before you put it all over your head. And as usual, you wanna make sure that you're getting everything very wet and saturated. And you can kind of see there's a line right here where the dark comes up to the brighter green. So with that, you want to very gently blend that out onto each section so that it's more seamless, like the delivery app. And that's why I added the lighter color first because this is going to blend into it 
and we don't want it to get too dark and the hair is already saturated when I'm blending down so not too much of the black is blending into the light. Here we go at the front. I'm just ready to see how this looks in the end. Like I'm, I'm too excited to wait. That's the worst part, seeing what it looks like after you rinse everything out and your hair dries because it does dry to be a little bit lighter than what it looks like most of the time when it's wet. That's just hair in general. And the rest of the story is just about blending. As in any type of art, blending is imperative. If you're doing your makeup, you gotta blend. If you're doing your hair, you gotta blend. You pretty much have to blend everything, but you don't have to blend in. That's what hair dye is all about. <laughs> Obviously, you can blend in if you want to, blend whatever type of way you feel, but if this is what makes you happy, then dye your hair green. This seamless gradient looks so good. Now I'm just doing the same thing on the rest of my hair and trying not to mess up the back. So this is what my hair looks like, all painted up. And I'm going to let this sit in my hair for at least 30 minutes. That's what the directions are. So it says at least. So, so I'm probably going to go watch some Gossip Girl until I feel like it's soaked in enough. And yeah, I am re-watching Gossip Girl. It's just always going to be one of those good shows. Just one of those classics that you always find yourself returning to. And I guess I low-key miss New York and just like to watch it on TV. I like watching New York on anything. TV, movies, whatever. So... Even though I am loving it here in LA, I still love New York. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit. And by the way, there's no ammonia or peroxide in these, which is why you can just let it sit on your hair for however long it performs like a stain. And it's also vegan, cruelty-free, nickel-free, all of the frees, paraben-free and non-toxic. So let it soak in for however long your heart desires. Then after it's done, you're gonna go wash your hair with cold water. You wanna use cold because it will preserve the dye in your hair for longer. Hot water will open up the cuticle and let it run out sooner. So you wanna just use cold water. Just rinse the dye out and wait at least one day before you use actual shampoo on your hair. You can just condition, finger comb style, whatever. So this is the finished look. I'm really happy with it. It's just such a beautiful, vibrant color and the fade worked really well. I braided back um, two of the braids into Dutch braids on the side so you could see how well it just fades into the brighter green. I love that. I think it's also very fitting for my skin tone. I think it just kind of like goes well together. I don't know. Um, but I also like that it looks more of like a natural look. Like if you got a wig that has like roots or if you got something that's like slightly blended darker. There's a big difference between that and a wig that you get at like a party store. So I like that. And also my hair is big because it's full of secrets and because I also fluffed it out. So I did my normal hair care routine, which is on my channel. I can link it in the description box down below. And then I kind of separate the curls a little bit to get this kind of volume and I like to do that sometimes because I do like having really big hair but I feel like it, it just gets frizzier sooner after you fluff it so I just do this for special occasions and today is a day and I'm alive and healthy so that's the special occasion also I feel like I should start wearing my hair like this I really do like the two braids I also really like my makeup today. I don't know what's going on. It's just a good day for me. Wow. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. All of that is linked in the description box down below. Also, I am doing something new on my channel. I'm doing a month-long vlog. So I used to have a vlog channel and back when I was young and could do so many more things and had more energy, I don't know. I used to vlog like every other day when I first moved to New York and then I kind of 
dropped off and then like left that vlog channel but i really like vlogging and i wanted to kind of incorporate that back into my life so i'm vlogging for a month straight and then turning it into a month-long vlog so kind of like an episode like a tv episode i guess and then i'm trying to do one every month so i'm working on that right now it's probably going to be a few more weeks until the first one comes out but i'm just playing around with the idea so when the first one comes out please let me know what you guys think and look forward to seeing that thanks again to good die young for supplying this beautiful color and sponsoring this video i'll have links to everything that i used in the description box down below and that's it so thank you guys so much for watching i wish you all a happy healthy life and i will see you in the next one